Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, <laughs> I had realized I had goofed up a lot of uh, my equipment, and I was kind of trying to remedy that. Uh, got Alistair in proper attire. Hopefully, this will be enough to keep him alive. Um, should we use them in the future? But, uh, there was a thing there. Uh, I was intending on heading over to the Proving to see if there's, you know, anything over there I could do. And, uh, looks like another gang of, uh, Haramont supporters, kind of similar to over there, uh, is sitting over here now. So, I figured... Yeah, I figured I'd wait until uh, we were rolling to uh, take them out. Since I had a feeling this was going to happen. Well, I mean, you're doing a good job of not allowing me to hit you. There we go. And this is why I'm happy I put healing on Morgan. Ow. That hurt. There we go. <laughs> and look at that! Alistair's actually surviving. Look at that. See? I have learned. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage, but then again, I always did. So, not really that much of an issue. Okay, let's walk into the proving. Hmm. My, uh, my hair's a little itchy today. Eesh. It's not fun. Especially with a headset that somehow makes it worse. Anyway, I could join the proving. Ooh, those noises again. Ooh, they set me on edge every time. You know. What I wanted to do. Go in here and talk to you. Greetings. I'm Tomas of the Grey Wardens. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. Ah. She doesn't talk to anyone. What are the Silent Sisters? They're an order of female warriors mm -hmm. founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. Okay. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. Whoa. The woman who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. Okay. That's a little extreme. But I dig it. Sticking to the source material. Approve. Um, whose side are you two on? The Silent Sisters support the Sitting King. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. Good. Then you may, then may both our efforts triumph. May the ancestors choose their champion wisely. Hopefully. All right. And I know there's another dude, which is the one I was looking for, this guy, but we will deal with that later, <laughs> because quite frankly, I'm uh, not sure we can uh, handle that. Oh, that must be where the fights are. Gwydion, we had... Con May the ancestors favor both our fights. Yeah. Didn't we convince him to fight again? So we might fight against him. <laughs> Uh, that might be a possibility if I decide to do the proving. <laughs> it's a distinct possibility, I now realize. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I might have made it harder on myself. Whoopsie doopsie. Wow, those noises. Okay. You are quickly overstepping your welcome. Am I, though? Okay. Oh, that, that noise is so... So upsetting. Guards, remove this intruder. Wow. Rude. Calling the guards on me just because I was wandering through. 
Oh, that noise. Oh, that's a terrible noise. I, I'm sorry for everyone. <laughs> oh, I feel... Ugh. I feel weird every time I have to listen to that. It's, <laughs> no, 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 it's not good. It's not good. So I could do the proving. I might actually do that because money... Think no, I don't get money off of that. Do I? I do get experience though, which is just as good. <laughs> Cause more abilities means less harder fights. The proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the fight? Ah, uh, yes. How do I sign up? Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? Uh, I am Tomas of the Grey Wardens. You can use any of those. We'll just call you Grey Warden. Fair enough. Seeing as those human names are a real bird to pronounce. <clears throat> we actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready oh, really? to start? Uh, who will I be fighting? Looks like Suwern's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at 12 years old. Really? All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? Interesting. Ready and eager. That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Fair you enough. Want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Yeah, let's fight. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. Sounds good to me. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of 12 by defeating his own father in this very ring. That is he kind of impressive. As champion for the royal Prince Balan against a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Aitu and our future King Balan. You honor me with this fight. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Alrighty. Now, Ow. That's not good. Come on. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> now I'm starting to get the upper hand. Ha-ha! <laughs> Booyah. The winner is the Grey Warden! Thank you. That was an exciting start, Warden. Suwern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Thank you. Are you ready for your next opponent? I was very proud of myself. <laughs> the third option is wild. Wow. Who is my next opponent? Next, you're up against Miyaja and Luke John. As twins, they've always been allowed to fight as a single person. They're that seems fans, cheating, but, but okay. mother was a smith, so watch out for Miyaja's hammer. Mm. And don't forget Luke John. Most fighters do, and end up with a knife in their spine. Gotcha. Are you ready to begin? I think I can handle them. Also, oh. <laughs> making noises. Ugh. Body's not cooperating with me today. First the hair, now this. Ugh. I apologize if that was able to be caught on the mic. Probably not, though. Reggie will let me know, right? You'll let me know, right, Reggie? 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 Okay. All right. Let's move on. All right, then. I'll see you out there. Sounds good. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. The Grey Warden will face the notorious duo, the Warrior Cast Twin Terrors, now fighting as champions for Prince Balan, Miyaja, and Luke John. Fair enough. May the stone honor you. When you fall. Sure, and may the dirt taste good when I feed it to you. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Alright. 
if you actually went after Luke Jean faster, that'd be, you know, what I would want. There we go. Well, I ended up missing on that swing, but it's all right. Thank you. Are you ready for your next opponent? It read as took them both them easily, so someone goofed up uh, in the proofreading there, but it's okay. It's fine. I, I got the gist. And apparently also the voice actor got the gist, so it's fine. Uh, Who is my next opponent? Next up is Roshan, the only survivor of the Deep Roads raid to retake the Kobaliman Tide. Are you ready to begin? Interesting. I don't know who that is. All right, point me to the All ring. All right, then. I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Mm -hmm. So far, the Grey Warden has won the field. But victory is far from assured. Fair. Next to challenge that perfect record is expeditionary Captain Roshan. Will he Captain find Roshan. Valos Atreidum and defeat the Grey Warden? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Great honor to face you. <laughs> wow, the option three. Wow, the honor is mine. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Alrighty. Well. Oh, ow. That was actually pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this guy got it. The winner is the Gray Warden. Thank you. Once again. Better and better, Warden. I never would have guessed you could triumph over Captain Roshan. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who is? Pick a partner, because this will be paired combat against Darbianek and his second Olenith. Darbianek's been a feared fighter in this arena since he was accused of murdering his own brother. Whoa. He fought to prove his innocence. When the ancestors cleared him, he went on to be a four-time Grand Proving Champion. Interesting. Are you ready to begin? Just point me to the ring. All right, then. I'll see you out there. And I think this I'll bring the proving. SO along. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat. Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodvik II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Okay. Grey Warden, choose your second. For now you face Lord Davianic Volney and Olinith. I will fight alone? Oh, that's that's ballsy. <laughs> That's a bit ballsy. Well, that's also a viable option. I choose Alistair of the Grey Wardens. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! I'll get on it. Yep, I just noticed he has none of his stances on. That's not great. Alright. I'm gonna take on Oliniv. If I could be unstunned for a second. There we go. And down you go. Thank you, Alistair. The winner is the Grey Warden. And my buddy Grey Warden. You prove yourself a master of paired combat warden. I congratulate both you and your second. Thank you. Are you ready for your next opponent? And who is that? This is the championship round. A full squad-on-squad -squad combat. Okay. The Oath Naidukan leads the same team he's taken to victory in over a dozen Deep Roads expeditions. Are you ready to face the final test? Ah, uh, give me a little time to prepare exactly for that. You pick your team. Because I'm pretty sure I need to get them set up for that combat before we get into it. 
I'm not entirely sure we're there. <laughs> this was just merely a distraction. <laughs> a distraction to earn a little XP. I think it does, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. A little, eh, a little, okay. It'd be, uh, be mainly when I finish it, but, uh, I want to make sure I have enough stuff first. Also, I need to make sure these guys have their abilities turned on, which they don't for some reason. And that includes turning on the fire and putting on all of his stuff. Yes. Good. Better. Alrighty. Let me ask you this, then, Morrigan. What if there really was a Maker? Then I would wonder why he has abandoned his creation. Mm -hmm. It seems terribly irresponsible of him. He left us because we were determined to make our own way, even if we hurt ourselves. And he could not bear to watch. But how do you know? You cannot ask him this. Perhaps he has gone to a new creation elsewhere and abandoned this as a dismal failure best forgotten. I do not need to know, because I have faith. I believe in him, and feel his hope and his love. Faith. How quickly those who have no answers invoke that word. How can someone who practices magic have so little capacity to believe in that which he cannot see? Magic is real. I can touch it and command it, and I need no faith for it to fill me up inside. If you are looking for your higher power, there it is. But only if you can control it. I do not envy the loneliness you must feel at times, Morrigan. I... Leave me be. Loneliness would be preferred to this endless chatter. Well... That got a little catty now, didn't it? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I need to double check if you have any of my stuff or possibly have something that I can use to replace my stuff. The answer is no. <laughs> uh, boy. Man. <laughs> I'm annoyed at myself. I have no idea why I convinced myself that, oh yeah, survivability is more important. <laughs> okay. And then gave Alistair the chainmail. Why, why did I convince myself that was a good idea? Oh, boy. Anyway. Moving on. Going to head back to Soldier's Peak. So, why was the detour to uh, Orzammar necessary? It wasn't. It just... I wanted to double check if I could find any more of the uh, higher quality chainmail armor for Stray, or Tomas, technically. And I couldn't, so uh, now I'm here. <laughs> I had gotten apparently some of the other stuff sold off, but then uh, I couldn't get the feet to at least Silverite, so we're going to just skip that entirely. And move on to finishing up Soldier's Peak. Because that will give me a also very good source of armor as well. Once it's all done. So that's what we're going to do. Of Whoopsie! Didn't mean to hit that. But it's fine. Alright. We head back to Soldier's Peak. Especially now that my inventory is a lot lighter. And we finish up the stuff there. Good. Uh, it'd be so much nicer if I could run. <laughs> but that's not an option. <sighs> At all, really. All right. Head back into the keep. And we go on through. 
recall correctly, the path is this way. There we go. And... Up we go here. Now that we're back. And... Commander's Quarters. That was where I didn't go yet. Because there's really no other option to do anything. So Levi Dryden and Sophia. Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Why should I speak with you? Because this peak is mine. This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. Interesting. Levi, I'm afraid your great-great-grandmother is possessed. That or she's really let herself go. My great great <laughs> I mean, grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. That's fair. Is there anything of the real Sophia left inside you? This one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. Not surprised. And why should I trust a demon? What is one woman child compared to your might? Strike me down if my terms offend. A fool this one would be to betray the warden. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me about this deal. You can't be serious. There's nothing left of Commander Dryden. She's possessed. Your fledgling should mind its place. Meek, subservient, quiet. This one will answer your question. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. And what exactly will you do if I free you? This one will roam. This one will see. This one will feed. But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons. More misery. You choose just one of my kind. Or many. I'm here on behalf of Levi. Tell me about Sophia Dryden. This one knows all. But we'll only talk after the tower lies broken. So, story content for Levi is if I do the demon's bidding. Great. Okay. What am I destroying? The magics. All moving things. The very stone if you have the power. Something inside keeps my kind locked away. Hmm. Huh. Before I make a deal, yes. you tell Levi anything he wants to know about Sophia. Warden, my family's been looking for answers for over a century, but not like this. The veil must be mended. It's the only way. I'll support your decision either way. Agreed. Any questions Levy has of the Dryden will be answered. I could try to sweeten the deal for me. What do I get out of this personally? The levy gets his questions answered. You get nothing more. It's worth a shot. Can you tell me anything more about the towers? You only must destroy. For your purpose, there is nothing more you need. I guess that's all the info I'm going to get. I'm off to break the tower then. 
Good, good. Nothing must live. Nash stone with teeth if you can. I don't know about using my teeth on them. But, uh, okay. Well, I'll need you. Get that. Ooh, splint mail. Silverite. That is not what I expected to see. In the slightest. Warden recruit shield. Interesting. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be in here. Mainly just to look at that. And now I know it's crap. So there's no point. Um, the Warden Recruit Shield. Plus two damage against Darkspawn. That ain't terrible. But I don't know if it's necessary. So I'll just toss that away. Alright. Well, at this point, I guess I'm doing the demon's bidding. Well! Alright, down you go. Alright. Alright. Just gonna deal with all the traps. Okay. And well bam. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better, but could have gone worse. <laughs> Alright, and an iron ring. That's all I get out of that, really. That's all I get out of that one. Alright, whatever. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Give it to Alistair, I don't know. <laughs> It does nothing, so I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, well, we're in here. The door appeared out of nowhere. Research. Oh, hello. Well, they don't want to, I'm assuming. Alright. There we go. Not going too badly, considering. Ooh! Beheaded. And the model doesn't include internals. <laughs> if the head is taken off, it's just an empty freaking texture. <laughs> That's a look. Ability note. This appears to be old research of the Mage of Vernus. They detail a series of experiments in terse clinical handwriting. Okay. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. Uh, okay. I'm not sure if that's good. Furnaces and notes. The taint allows us to sense the darkspawn. The longer we survive with the taint in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the Warden. Over time, it devours both mind and body, leaving nothing. But what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped or contained in some way? What if the Warden could become more powerful without having that power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? The joining ritual is crude. We take into ourselves the blood of the Darkspawn in the most obvious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. There must be some way to refine the joining, isolate the true power that is found in darkspawn blood, and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is too much work to be done. Through my magic I have been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I am starting to hear things, even while awake. A voice more beautiful than any other, that calls to me from the depths. In my dreams I see the black city, and I am drawn towards it. There is something there, 
an answer to what this taint is, this taint that we share with the Darkspawn. Interesting, and if those notes were any indication, this might be the final fruits of that labor. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. And the sound of what this guy did to get to that point, I don't wanna. Okay. Now it allows me up the staircase. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. He's still alive? How is he still alive? Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? The old warden mage? You're still alive? Only just. I have only a short time left. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the Maker. He may look frail, but don't trust him. I'm not sure so I would. the Maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? Ah, uh, I've seen your experiments. They were necessary. Any tool, any iota of information that could defeat the fell demons was justified. I don't As know about warden, that one. You should know that. Necessary. Having to relieve yourself after an eight-hour ride is necessary. But there's no excuse for summoning demons. Charming. How do you know I'm a warden? A combination of my research and blood magic. But even without that, who else would brave Soldier's Peak? That's a fair point. I can't argue with that. Huh. I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. A number of them. I'm sure that you can answer most of them. Uh, how have you survived these many years? The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Tell me what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. So you're aware Sophia's of that, at least. Sophia's may walk and talk, but she, too, is no more. How was Arland a tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison. His treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then. But the kingdom lives on. True. What happened to this rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tian Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the king's guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. Tiern Kuzlins. I was about to say, that's our same family. The Kuzlins almost rebelled? That's my family. Is it? You lost many family members that day. I lost many more I saw after the that. Tiern's head on the meeting table with an apple in its mouth. Arlen's butchers, no doubt, slaughtered enough Kuzlins to make them pliable. Welp. So, our family is no stranger to, uh, being slaughtered for petty bullshit, I guess. Um, that's a little fucked up, but, uh, I guess there's not much else I can do about it. Besides, the bloodline seems to be dying with me unless I meet my brother in Denerim. So, uh, there's that. You had to know that summoning so many demons was foolhardy. Perhaps, but it was survival. True. For months, 
I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. But with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. Yeah, babe. I was so close. You're to blame for all of this. Some things you just don't do. From a warden, that means something. So tired, so old. Let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then, I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. Fair enough. Commander Dryden knew of the demons. She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinta. You do remember how that ended. The Black City. Darkspawn. Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. How do you know the Chantry is wrong? And how do you know they are right? Fair point. Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. Not entirely false, actually. Fairly true. Uh, I want to ask about something else. Yes. Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Levi, go ahead. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. <laughs> and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. Your call? He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Just answer his question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know. So full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. I'm sorry, Levi. I, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. What was the purpose of your experiments? To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the dark spawn taint, that is alien to them. Really? And it has power. What power? The Wardens use it merely to sense dark spawn. A triviality. Mm -hmm. My research has discovered so much more. Hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak. With it, the Wardens could grow even more powerful. Only a monster would sacrifice his fellow Wardens. It was necessary. It was vital. The few meager years of life they would have spent trapped in this tower were nothing compared to the greater goal. I gave their death meaning. Time for questions is over. So be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Sophia asked me to kill you. We must deal with her. You are wise not to trust her. We will deal with her first. And afterwards. We must go to the Great Hall. There I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. Wouldn't surprise me. But before we leave, I'm going to make sure that I grab everything I possibly can. Why is there just a corpse sitting there? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. An iron bark longbow, which isn't really worth much to me. Because I already have D 
decent bows for everyone who needs them. So into the junk it goes. Uh, okay. Cool. And I guess we follow him into uh, there. Before I do that, though, I'm going to save. All right, saved, and now we go. Now we have Avernus to help us seal the rip in the veil. Help us keep. <laughs> he lives! You were supposed to kill him! Ah, the architect of my downfall. So clever in your deceit. And what has it brought you? Treacherous wardens, at every turn! This one will crush you! <laughs> I could just do a double, triple cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. You honestly thought I'd believe you, Sophia? You are a worm! You are awful! This one will see you suffer. I'm finished hiding. After these long, bitter years, let it be over. Once and for all. This one will give you the end you crave. Help me now, Warden. And I could still do the triple cross. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Yeah, a little. Oh my god. Oh boy. I need to heal a lot more. All right. Oop, I'm stunned. Not good. It's fine. And we're dead again. Ow. To the main hall. Fair enough. To the main hall. With so few of us to protect her, the demon was no challenge for us. But we must act quickly. The real challenge lies ahead. The veil must be closed. I'm well aware. Uh, what do I do? I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Yeah. Dispatch them. Will do. I will begin. All right. Sounds good to me. First, I must summon the magical <laughs> energies. Still on fire. I feel them. They're coming. Cool. All right. Can I get you a lamp so you can get off my back? All right. Cool. That worked. We're still on fire. We're still on fire. You gotta be kidding me. Oop, okay. Well, time to go berserk a little bit. Just to add some extra damage to my swings. Oh, time to heal Alistair. He needs it. Alright. Alright. And damaged. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. Oh dear. Ash rates. Oh no. Didn't expect an ash rate. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's gonna need uh, some lyrium potions in her system as well. At this rate. Ooh, a desire demon. Didn't expect this. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Alright. And quite frankly, she should probably kill herself. She ain't doing it any other way. Is that the last one? And I'm frozen. Ooh. <laughs> gold and 50 silver. Damn. Damn. Okay. We did it. It's over. The veil is strong now. Stronger, at least. 
Mm. I said I'd submit to judgment, and so I shall. Can I be left to experiment in peace? Fair enough. I like that option, actually. You must atone. Research ways to help wardens. Ethically. With what time I have left, I will do this. It may take months or years for my research to reach fruition. When it does, I will send for you. Good. Thank you for this, Warden. Good. Thank you. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. Yeah. That old geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. True. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Your grandmother, I'm not sure about. But you're a good man. Well, I, uh, thanks, Warden. For so long, I was focused on the past. On answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. It's an option. It's entirely an option for you. Any chance I could convince you to stay on? You know I'm no good in a fight, but I'm a fair trader if I do say so myself. My cousins have been looking for a safe place to store trade goods, and the peak will do nicely. Whatever the Drydens have to offer are yours, for a sizable discount. Well, I appreciate like hearing that. Here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work. Yeah, I'd say we do. Oh, and Liliana got a level up. Nice. Look at her. Let's up the dexterity that she's running with a bit to 32. And... Um, I don't know. Maybe up cunning a bit too? Yeah, let's do cunning. That's a good idea. And talents. Hmm. Got her up to Master Archer. I can do that. Deadly with both bows and crossbows. And additional benefits when using aim, defensive fire, crippling shot, critical shot, arrow of slaying, rapid shot, and scattering shot. So that's basically all of the abilities. His talent also eliminates the penalty to attack speed when wearing heavy armor, although massive armor still carries the penalty. That makes sense. I wasn't even aware that heavy armor has a penalty to attack speed. That's interesting. Makes sense, but... So, Arrow of Slaying, Scatter Shot, <laughs> an automatic critical hit if this shot finds its target, although high-level targets may be able to ignore the effect. Huh. Interesting. So, it affects all of these. Huh. Increases the armor penetration, defense bonus, increases all the bonuses in aim. Well, if that's the case, then it basically all around makes her a better archer, so screw it. You're going to have to do it at that point. It's required of me, basically. Leliana, now she can equip Falundin's Reach. Beautiful. Well, this might have higher attack, but the damage and rapid aim on this is too good to ignore. And then the Dalish Longbow will just swap that out for the Wolf Killer. There we go. And, the, yeah, this is, this is normal. Just toss that. There we go. Good, 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 good. Sounds good to me. Tactic slot added. All of these are looted. And I guess I need to head back get Sophia's stuff. Warden Commander gloves all red steel. Armor and boots. Interesting. I wonder if... I'm kind of curious. 
Warden Commanders, they're massive. But I can equip them. Alistair can't. He's almost there, but he just can't. At least not yet. These ancient yet sturdy plate gauntlets have served high-ranking Grey Wardens for centuries. When equipped in a set with the Warden Commander plate armor and boots, bonus to health and spells or talent costs or spells or talents cost less to activate. So it also adds bonus to health and less. It almost is... It's almost good enough that I'm willing to wear it. Uh... Plus it has fire resistance. But the fatigue, though... Fatigue is so strong... All right, well, I got to end the episode because we're over time already, but uh, it's it's one of those things I'll have to mull over. Oh, that's so good, though. It's so good, though. Oh, it's so good, though. Mm. <laughs> so good. Uh, it's, oh, it's so good. Ah. Uh, It's too good, man. It's too good. All right. I'm going to end the episode here for right now, and I will figure out if I want to wear that in the future or not. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and finally finishing Soldier's Peak. It was short, but we eventually finished everything, and after we leave and come back... We will have a lot of good stuff uh, now available to us at that point. Or at least I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we will get that done in the next episode. And you will see what goodies we end up earning because of it. And what happens after that? Who knows? Really, who knows? I don't. <laughs> I barely know anything. For you.